Hey folks, Sean here, and in this episode, I want to talk to you about why it is so important to sell your B2B SaaS products before you build them. Now, I've talked about the components here separately, but I want to bring it all together and share with you a real world example from the two products that I built this year. First is Podcast Show Notes, and the second is Shortsmaker. Now, in one of these instances, I sold it following the strategies that I recommend for you before I built it, and that was for podcast show notes. And in the second one, I didn't. One of the reasons I did this is so that I'd have this case study to share with you in terms of how effective is that strategy when you do it versus when you don't. So because I sold podcast show notes before I built it, when I ultimately did build it, launch it, and then start selling it to the public, it sold very effectively right away. Shortsmaker, on the other hand, I didn't follow the same process and it did not sell particularly effectively right away. So in fact, despite the fact that most people probably think going through the process that I'm going to explain for you will take longer. It is an extra step up front, but it enables you to get to the outcome that you're looking for faster. Let me explain. So if you're designing and building a new SaaS product or business or whatever, chances are what you're really looking to do, generate revenue, become profitable and grow, right? That's more than likely the outcome you're looking for. There's a bunch of things you need to do in order to make sure that goes well and you're able to successfully do that, but that's more than likely what you're trying to achieve. If that's the case, then selling your product up front is going to provide you with a crazy amount of value before you go deep down the building rabbit hole. There's a lot to unpack here. So what I first want to talk about is basically comparing the two of these products and the path that each has been on thus far. The problems that I run into with the second one, Shortsmaker, likely because I haven't sold it first, are related to really all of the variables. It's who should the target market be? What is the value proposition? How do I communicate it to that target market? The positioning, the marketing elements, all of these components are all variables and they all are contributing factors to how effectively your product is going to create conversions. Now, another reason why I skipped this step in my instance is because Shortsmaker also solves a problem of my own. And that's really what I needed it for right away. The other element was, and I would be figuring these things out along the way with you, but now having done that in, in sequential steps, I did the first product in the first quarter of this year, show notes. I did the second product in the second quarter of this year, shorts maker. I can't stress enough. And I honestly, at this point, wish I had gone back and followed what I'm recommending to you to do now with shorts maker from the start, because it would have enabled me to get to where I'm ultimately trying to go with shorts maker much faster, just like I have with show notes. Now, if you've been following along with some of the content that I'm producing and I'm sharing you in terms of updates on Shortsmaker, you'll know that it hasn't been converting as effectively. And when I say converting, I mean paying customers. I've been able to get people to, to sign up for the tool and use it, but I have not been able to get a consistent flow of people converting to paying customers. And I attribute that to a number of factors, what the product does, who it's being marketed to, user experience, et cetera. And those things are all being worked on now. And I finally have that context. My point here is I would have had it going in had I tried to sell it initially. Some of those problems that I just mentioned, I would have known about before I had built it, which would have really compressed the timetable in terms of me getting to where I am now. So as opposed to working on fixing those things and monetizing them now, I would have come out of the gate with a much stronger ability to be able to monetize right away. Like I experienced with shorts maker, I'm sorry, show notes. So, the key here is, and this is the strategy that I highly recommend you invest in, and it's what I did with show notes that I didn't do with Shortsmaker, right? Get that landing page up, build a website that communicates your value proposition to your target market related to the problem that you solve and have pricing on that page as well too. Use ads or a way to generate traffic, send it to that landing page, and then measure your conversions, right? Include a call to action there, as in create a lead capture that is, Here's who I am. Here's 
why I'm signing up. Here's what I'm signing up for. Here's what I'm willing to pay. And then compare that to what it costs you to generate that traffic. That is essentially the test I ran with show notes that I did not with Shortsmaker. And man, did I learn a lot doing so with show notes that I did not learn because I skipped that step with Shortsmaker. Now, I've also run this test for other products that I have yet to build. Why haven't I built those products? Because the results were underwhelming. Right? When I ran it for show notes, I got a two to one return. As in for every dollar that I was spending on ads, I was getting a volume of leads that said that that in aggregate would pay double what it, I, what it was I had spent to generate that traffic. Which is pretty strong for like whatever, vaporware, not having the software yet. Now, another product that I was working on was like a scheduling automation tool. I ran the same experiment and I was losing in that transaction. I was getting back about half what I was spending. Um, so it was significantly underwhelming by comparison. As such, didn't decide to build that product, right? The decision became a lot easier. The other component of value you're going to get out of making this investment is it's going to make the right decision a lot easier to make. That is something people really struggle with in terms of whether or not to build. The, I call it the product trap or the build trap. It's really easy to fall into. You want to rush into building and you do so way before you should. And I've literally recreated the experience that I believe is one of the biggest reasons that a lot of products sink, a lot of products fail. So this strategy will help you avoid 90% of it. So I highly recommend you sell your product before you decide to build it.